everyone, how are you doing today? Today we're gonna talk about Nippon Sopa. So let's get started. Hi everyone, how are you doing today? Since I'm still in Sweden, I decided today to share with you another typical uh, Swedish drink or even if it's not Swedish at least, uh, I think it's common for the Scandinavian uh, region since I haven't seen it anywhere else. Today we're gonna talk about Nippon Sopa. So let's get started. The Nippon Sopa is a thick type of juice that is produced uh, from rose hip fruits with the addition of sugar and uh, probably starch. There are um, different ways in which you can consume it. Some people uh, use it as a dessert, adding to it ice cream or vanilla sauce or uh, something of that or whipped cream even. However, personally me and uh, the people I know around here, they just like to take it as a juice drink since it's very rich in vitamin C and minerals and especially during the winter season many people prefer to drink it from time to time in a way to boost their immune system. So as I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video, I haven't seen it anywhere else but in Sweden, uh, however I am not a traveling expert so uh, probably it exists somewhere else and uh, it can be sold in powder and then you need to dilute it in hot water in order to um, make it drinkable or you can buy it in a tetra brick so for me the interesting point is that it's fairly thick due to the starch and the pulpy consistency of the smashed fruits with the added sugar as well. When I was a kid, uh, I was not living in Sweden, but that type of uh, thicker and pulpier juices or nectars were very popular. So I assume drinking it reminded me a little bit of my childhood. That's why I fell in love with this uh, drink straight away. But um, in any case, it has, um, due to its thicker uh, consistency, some people can add a little bit of water in order to dilute it and other people like it as it is. You can add ice if you want, it's really up to you. It's very thick, the flavor. And weirdly enough, it reminds me a little bit of, um, of hay and pumpkin somehow. So um, it has this uh, a little bit tartness of the um, rose hips. But in general, I think it's very refreshing and very uh, tasty drink. So um, Regardless of the season, but especially during the colder half of the year, if you have the chance to give it a try, I think you're gonna like it. So that is another uh, review of a drink from Sweden. So uh, let's see what we will come up with in the future. So far that's it for today. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.